Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We'll try to keep the link down on this one, guys. I've been getting longer and longer and longer. I appreciate all the comments that the guys, uh, y'all watching and say and stuff. But uh, and when we start getting to the 30 minute length, uh, we're going to <laughs> we have to cut back on this a little bit. So I appreciate everybody with the, with the great comments and, and wanting to hear what i got to say. So uh, I'm kind of humbled by all the great comments that I've gotten. So let's try to keep this one down just a little bit. And I'll try to watch what I'm doing, not repeat as much stuff as I've been repeating over the last week or so. So it seems like I'm getting kind of repetitive in my old age. All right, this is Chaos Mountains Squatch Ale. And it's got a real nice picture of Sasquatch carrying a keg of beer. And it is a Scotch Ale. So they've done a little play there, Squatch. Sasquatch Scotch Ale, so very nice. Uh, uh, the guys there at Chaos Mountain, Will Landry, the head brewer, does an awesome job. Uh, got a really nice brewery if y'all are ever down in the Callaway or, or, or Boone's Mill area of uh, Virginia. It's right off of 220 between uh, Roanoke and Rocky Mount. Uh, uh, and their brewery is off, uh, I want to say off in the boonies, but it's uh, off the beaten path, if you will. But it's a uh, it's a real nice place to visit and got a nice uh, little uh, setup there, uh, and, uh, a little uh, bar area there which you can go in and sample what they have and uh, uh, get your growler filled if you so desire. All right, uh, this is a Scotch Ale, like I said. This comes in 7.5%, I believe. Uh, yes, 7.5% here. It says here, this big malty Scotch Ale presents a wealth of complex flavors. Not too dark, with a little bit of initial sweetness. It finishes dry. This beer will put hair on your chest, and like our buddy Squatch, maybe all over. <laughs> uh, IBUs on this beer, it says here is 24. Uh, it is a Scotch Ale slash We Heavy. Uh, and when I went to the brewery, when it opened up uh, last fall, uh, I thought this was one of their tastier beers. And uh, now that they are uh, bottling a lot of their stuff, uh, I've seen it in the store. I said, ah, we want to pick this up and review it for you guys. So, I uh, don't know how big distribution they, they're doing. Uh, they are a local brewery. Uh, so, I don't know how far out there uh, they're getting their beers out right now. So, the uh, commercial description is exactly what I just read off the back of the bottle here. So, we'll go directly over to the food pairings. And for the... Uh, for the beer, it says the cheeses are buttery brie gouda Havarti Swiss. The meat is smoked meat and salmon. Uh, glass bar, pint, becker, not like tumbler, the snifter, or the tulip. I got the Sauvin beer glass here today, guys. And it says here it can be cellared for longer periods under the proper conditions. So, And I don't think Will and them are dating anything yet. I think they're dating the cases according to what he told me and not dating the bottles yet. So, Let's get the cap off of this puppy. Nice little hiss, and uh, get it in the glass here, guys. All right, very nice looking beer. Bah, not quite a finger of head with that pour. Very rich uh, ruby color, creamy copper and uh, red ruby color there. 
very nice, very clear. See the bulb right through it. Uh, a lot of bubble streaming up, reinforcing the head. Let's get a nose on it, see what we got. Yeah, it's got a very sweet, it's almost like a berry smell. Oh yeah, that thing has a nice caramel, toppy sweetness to it to me. That thing got a nice sweet nose to it. Hmm. Let's give it a taste and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Very, very pleasant. Very well made beer. Not getting any of that 7 plus percent alcohol. Very tasty. I'm getting some berries, some coffee, uh, toffee, caramel. It does have a dry finish to it. Very pleasant though. A nice balance between the sweetness and the hot profile on this. Mm. Very tasty. I don't drink a lot of Scotch ales or wee heavies, but that is pleasant. Got a nice, very nice caramel toffee taste to me. Very pleasant. Well, let's try out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let's let it warm up and let her sip on it a time or two. And we'll come back and do the final chug and grade on this one, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Got this a little left here. It's a very tasty beer. The berries and the caramel, maybe a hint of some brown sugar. Very tasty. Uh, very easy drinking for the 7.5% alcohol in this. It's hidden very well. You could get in trouble drinking more than two of these that if you were out at a bar. <sighs> Wonderful aroma. When I was down there I thought this was one of their one of their better beers when I when the uh, the brewery opened. Of course they have IPAs and they have stouts and they have everything but I was impressed with this one so when I did see it in the grocery store I said oh yeah let's do this one. So final chug. Very nice, very tasty, so easy drinking. If you didn't know this was a seven and a half percenter, you would you would think it's a five. You really would. I mean, you like I said, you could get in serious trouble if you didn't know the ABV on this beer and was drinking at, you know, at a bar. I, I'm, I'm serious. You, yeah. It would probably sneak up on you before you knew it and grabbed a hold of you. All right, guys, uh, very tasty to me. Uh, I thought it was impressive at the brewery when they opened up, and I think it's just as impressive now uh, having it at the bottle here at the house. So, very, very tasty. If you can get your hands on this and Chaos Mountain, their Squatch Ale, which is short for Sasquatch, which is the, the little guy, uh, or the big guy, the big hairy guy on the front carrying a keg. Uh, a nice play on, on words there for Scotch Ale, Squatch Ale, Sasquatch. So, very nice. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, guys, uh, I'm going to give this an 8, which is an A-. minus. I do think it's an A beer. I think it's a very nice Scotch Ale. There may be just a slight hint of some smokiness there. I don't know if Will and them were using any kind of a smoke malt in there. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure if they are. So, uh, I've had smokier, a lot smokier beers. So, uh, I'm not sure they actually use uh, that. It's very subdued if it is. So. Uh, 8 out of 10 for me on this one, guys. Over to Beer Advocate. They said 83 in a good range. If I was putting a numeric rating on this, guys, I would say 90 or 91. So I think that number is considerably low. And I tell you this all the time. A lot of these beer reviewers that do the rate beer and the Beer Advocate reviews, unless it just blows their hair plumb off or their socks and shoes off, they're just not super impressed. That's that's just the way, that's just the game, that's just, that's just the way that it is, that's just, <laughs> it is what it is. And over to Rate Beer, they're even worse on this one. 44 overall and 18 in the style. 
I think those numbers suck out loud. Uh, I'm usually a big fan of rate beer, but like I said, those numbers come from the guys that drink the beer and post those reviews on there. That's where those numbers come from. So if uh, the guys that do the reviews aren't impressed with it, rate beer reflects that in their ratings. And the same for Beer Advocate. Uh, very, very seldom that uh, Beer Advocate has better ratings than Rate Beer. It happens, and it's happened on this one. So I think Beer Advocate's numbers are a little low, and I think Rate Beer's numbers just suck out loud. <laughs> I mean, I could not disagree with Rate Beer's ratings on this beer at all. I mean, they're just, like I said, unless it blows their hair the socks off, they're not impressed. And that's the American way. We're going to do it bigger. We're going to do it bolder. We're going to do it more hoppier. We're going to do it more this, more that. So, this is a nice representation of a very easy drinking, very well made Scotch or wee heavy beer. And like I said, now if you're looking for more smokiness, uh, this is probably not the one. Uh, if you're looking for something a little more heavier in the alcohol, this is not the one. But if you're looking for something in a Scotch or a wee heavy, uh, that's actually a seven and a half percenter that drinks like a five percenter. This is the one. So, Will, great job. Uh, you uh, you got a great recipe for this. No matter what these silly fools have, uh, are doing on the ratings, like I said, I don't always agree with the ratings on these sites, guys. I, I do not. Uh, they're used as a reference code when I give you these ratings, and usually I'll tell you whether I agree with them or not. So, this time, beer advocates closer. They're not there, but they're closer to, to the real actual rating that I'm giving it. So, With that being said, if you can get your hands on Chaos Mountain, their Squatch Owl, let me know what you think, guys. I loved it. I think it's a day beer. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See everybody then.